This is a presentation by Group 13, Section B done for the subject, Brain Talk at Work. We are trying to solve the problem faced by many companies in the current scenario, which is improving employee engagement during the pandemic using neuroscience. The pandemic has forced us to operate from our homes, which has some negative impacts on our professional lives. The top challenges employees struggle with when working from home are, distractions, 54% of employees have more distractions at home, lacking a routine and work-life balance, 66% of employees are more likely to work nights and weekends when working from home. The various impacts of this are, difficult or lacking communication, low reliability and retention, difficult to manage and maintain accountability loss of productivity neuroscience can help improve the employee engagement it not only informs leaders about processes involved with their own leadership but also about the minds of their employees dr david rock created a model for improving the relationship between leaders and employees called the scarf model it states that the brain is always trying to minimize threats and maximize rewards we will use this model to improve employee engagement. We will discuss the SCARF model in details, in the following slides. Status. Let employees take the initiatives, will not be perceived as threat. Encourage change to come from the employee instead of the leader. Certainty. Improve communication, play online games together with the team members. Let them know that the organization cares, and their jobs are safe. Autonomy. Try to limit the interference by the leader. Encourage new initiatives and ideas. Relatedness. Have families involved while playing and engaging with team members in online mode. Encourage friendly conversations among team. Fairness. Interact with respect, don't play the blame game improve interactions and take employees opinion while making some decisions leaders should be transparent in all decision-making processes hope this was insightful thank you